Okay, so I'll try to explain how to make robot hand um, move if the input is music and output is painting. The hand in this case is only metaphor because it could be anything. It could be a car lit by a joystick or it could be only this simple two-fingered uh, mechanical hand or something, whatever. Mm, I'll also tell something about history of robotics and artificial intelligence. So the robot is a virtual agent, it's electromechanical lead through a computer program. Uh, we know autonomical robots, these are the ones which, uh, which are moving on their own, and half autonomical robots um, which are partly leaded by a human being. Under these ones are Honda's Asimo robot, which, is, which was made to inspire children to learn about science, and Topio, Topio robot by Tosi. This one is for... Uh, um, ping pong playing and it is learning by your moves so he's getting better and better it's like a game uh, you're playing because like every level is harder mm. we also know nano robots these are little robots uh, to listen to people like to put it on a, in a bear and to watch your wife or husband and swarm robots these are this is a group of robots cooperating together technology which is working on performance of robots is called robotics um, and the robotics uh, is everything. It's design of robots, construction, operation and application, uh, computer control of robots, uh, reaction of sensors and uh, processing of information. Uh, robots' job is to do human's work and the robotics are more and more into bio-inspired robotics. About bio-inspired robotics, this is the very new field of robotics. Uh, and it's a subcategory of robotics, basically. Um, it, it is copying the nature and it learns from it, and it's multifunctional. Uh, they use it for observing the bio systems, and they are, they are using it for looking for finding solutions in me mechanical work. Uh, rubber, they made a robot which moves like a gecko, swimming, flying robots, robots um, which are made to go through uh, different types of ground. Um, they made uh, jumping robots, and, and then, then they are modular robots, these are mul multifunctional, they can run and climb or walk and swim, they can perform more performances at the same time. Um, not at the same time, but like the same robot can make more performances. Then we have humanoids, these are robots inspired by human beings, they look like human, they act like human, and they are made for personal help and to work in a hotel on the reception desk or something like that. And the most famous of these ones is Pathman. Mm, there is the many different uh, models of robotic hands. It's they, We know cartesical robot hand, um, robot hand with cylinder, polar robot hand, sacra robot hand, and segmented robot hand, and this one is most, it looks most like a human's hand. And the difference between of them all is that they have different types of moving between one and another part. So these parts are different. Um, artificial intelligence. On 3rd of June 2008, Dean Kamen presented his project DEKA. This is Robot Hand for Disabled Persons. The project was on when U.S. Ministry of Defense realized there is a very small number of dead soldiers and very huge um, number of disabled ones with no hands or legs or something. Um, DECA made impossible in one year. They made a hand which is moving on your thoughts. Artificial intelligence is a pretty new thing in the history. It, it started after the World War II and uh, the name was given to it in 1956. Um, the other scientists call artificial intelligence the field I always wanted to be in because it's so interesting. Mm. If someone would ask me what is artificial intelligence, well, artificial intelligence is rationality. Because the system is rational when it makes the right thing with the knowledge he possesses. And psychology says that rational system is perfect mixture of mathematics and engineering. Mm, they made a lot of tests in the history. For example, Alan Turing made a Turing test, and this test was um, a robot which was listening to people talking, and then he got uh, questions on which he had to answer on. And uh, another human being, he the the goal was that a person couldn't 
like realized who wrote the answers. And this, this robot is working since, uh, is still working since 1950, so it's working for 60 years now. Um, Wright brothers, for example, they started, uh, started um, exploring aerodynamics and they made robot pigeon and their goal was that they would make a robot which would fly so good that, uh, that it even fool other real pigeons. Uh, then another project was uh, Rapidly Q2, this is a humanoid made perfectly and uh, Italians and Swiss, Swiss people made a hand which feels. To make artificial intelligence, a uh, robot with artificial intelligence, we must know how human brain is working. Uh, one example how to, find, how to find the working of the brain is to follow your thoughts like Aristotle did. And he said this process he, he found out it was uh, so great is a human humans are mortal mortal so so great is mortal mm, the key to artificial intelligence is also logics in 2011 Zach Browning made project head swamp which is pretty much like ours he made interactive robot Painter, which is painting on the sound of uh, violin, which is performed by a musician, which is standing next to it. Uh, the, pro the robot, the um, the connection between robot and musician is like there is a connection. They have to cooperate with each other, um, and this robot is uh, is his own artist, so the robot is autonomical. And I found also about this um, program called Audio Paint, and this program is working on the color um, horizont and how high the picture it is, and it makes a sound from picture, so we would need exactly the opposite thing of this. Mm. Um, and we decided for that we will use for our project uh, Lego Mindstorm. This is a simple packet of machines you put together and you make your own robot and you get drag and drop uh, program software next to it so you, want, you, you can like program it very easily because like no one of us can uh, program it. Um, so this is it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions you can write under the video. Thank you. Bye.